I am Dr. Bill Lewis, the Director for Aviation Development at the Aviation and Missile Research Development and Engineering Center at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama. My job is to guide the development of the science and technology needed for today and tomorrow's aviation fleet. Today you will view a video of futuristic aviation operations. This video depicts potential airframes and technologies in support of the fight. The intent of this video is to stimulate thought. While viewing, reflect on your past experiences and knowledge and contemplate what we will need for the future fight. Later, we will ask for your input on the technologies we need for the tactics of the future. Now enjoy the video, Technology for Tactics. The technology of the future will support our soldiers across a wide range of missions with increased capabilities. Future unmanned systems will be available at the small unit level, providing immediate situational awareness. The air crew of the future will rely upon extensive automation and have access to improved situational awareness, allowing them to respond to an evolving and complex battlefield. Future vertical lift aircraft will fly further, faster, and perform in a wider range of environmental conditions while carrying heavier payloads. Aircraft may be manned or unmanned, flight operations will be automated, and the pilot will assume more of a mission commander role. Ground commanders can push mission changes to aircraft as they are received and pilots can accept these updates with a voice command. Improved fuel efficiency and power to weight capability will extend the ranges and speeds of aircraft, expanding operational capability. Multiple aircraft can be controlled by the lead aircraft and coordinated across manned and unmanned systems. Environmental conditions will not adversely affect flight operations. Platform nodes within the net will be able to exchange real-time information between manned aircraft, unmanned aircraft, and ground units providing a complete view of all assets in the battle space. Data will be fed to the global information grid, allowing real-time reassessment and replanning in response to changing tactical situations. This information allows for coordination between cyber and human systems. Ground troops will engage enemy forces with enhanced situational awareness as crews push mission data real-time. Displays integrating location data for friendly forces, combatants, and civilians will also show other information pertinent to the battlefield, such as time to target and updated mission objectives. Load times for equipment and personnel will be greatly reduced and will require limited assistance from air and ground crews. Troops on board aircraft receive mission updates while en route to objective area. Landing zone clearances will be automatically calculated and assets will be delivered faster, improving response times. Unmanned wingmen defeat attackers. Missiles will be defeated using advanced spoofing technologies. Improved aircraft construction will increase survivability. Aircraft begin evasive maneuvers and redirect to alternate safe routes. Threat systems are engaged and destroyed. Meanwhile, ground situation is constantly monitored and updated as needed. Medevac requests are relayed through an on-station unmanned aerial systems. 
medevac response time will be improved with faster flight speeds and increased maneuverability. Advanced biometrics allow medical staff to review patient information and coordinate medical facility activities while the aircraft is en route. Airborne systems on station relay information to the ground commander as mission objectives are accomplished. With all hostile forces destroyed, warfighters begin their return to base. Unmanned systems remain on station to observe and monitor for further threats. Onboard systems determine and initiate self-healing and maintenance actions. Ground commanders are debriefed while air crews return to base. I hope you have enjoyed this brief view into what the future may hold. The technologies you have seen portrayed are drawn from the minds of those who currently develop the aviation fleet, including warfighters, engineers, and scientists. But I need aviation visionaries. And now we want your views. You will be directed to a website where you can provide your input as to the technologies you feel will be required in the future. The only limiting factor is your imagination tempered by your experience and knowledge. Also, encourage your associates to view this video and provide their input. Working together, we can develop the technologies required for the tactics of the future.